In the near future, an increasing number of unmanned vehicles will operate at very low level altitudes up to 500 feet. These new airspace actors will share the airspace with manned traffic, where dynamic airspace reconfiguration enables the integration of manned and unmanned traffic in non-segregated airspace. The Royal Netherlands Aerospace Center, NLR, together with their partners from the German Aerospace Center, DLR, carried out simulations for the CESA Industrial Research Project, AURA, that investigates requirements for an interface between ATM-controlled airspace and so-called use space. Use space is a set of highly automated services and specific procedures designed to provide safe, efficient and secure access to airspace for large numbers of unmanned aircraft, operating automatically and beyond the visual line of sight. To this end, Aura defined the so-called AUSA ATM Use Space Shared Airspace, which must be seen as a generic type of airspace that can be delegated to contain both ATC-controlled and Use Space-controlled airspace volumes. The simulations carried out by NLR and DLR investigated use space contingencies that could have an impact on those parts of the shared airspace controlled by ATC. This includes specific use space user missions and related emergency and other contingency situations that would require an extension of use space into ATC controlled airspace. NLR defined different drone missions in the vicinity of Rotterdam The Hague Airport on the NASIM validation platform. A tower controller and an approach controller worked within this environment. DLR operated both a real drone at their national UAS test center in Kokstead, Germany, and a drone simulator at their premises in Braunschweig in order to carry out the drone missions with high fidelity. For this experiment, the role of a manager for dynamic airspace reconfiguration processes, DAR, was introduced. The DAL manager received contingency requests from use space and negotiated them with air traffic control. Both the tower and approach controller communicated with the DAL manager to find a solution for the contingency situations that occurred during the drone missions. The DAL manager had the possibility to visualize and change the contingency airspace reconfiguration request and, if several options were available, select the most appropriate reconfiguration option. Airspace changes were then communicated to the affected controllers via a dedicated interface, showing the delegated use space airspace with indications of altitude constraints and activation status and times inside the ATC-controlled airspace. Preliminary results have shown that the additional DAR manager role and working position supported and improved air traffic control operations. Negotiations between the DAR manager and air traffic controllers, however, will only be possible if there is enough lead time in the range of several minutes to prepare for airspace changes. Emergency requests that require immediate action should be communicated to the affected controllers immediately by the system.